Hello everyone, this is CT Jet, and welcome back to another video. So, this is Principia. It is the sequel to Apparatus, a game that I played very avidly as a child. So, what is Principia, you say? Well, oh great, Google Chrome is not working. Alright, so Principia is a very fun game that you get to play with me. So I'm going to go, you can't see this because you aren't able, because I don't let you, uh, CTJ. And it, I do have the Android version, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm playing PC right now so I can record this. So that's my stuff if you want to know. And here's my favorite quote that I came up with. But, uh, Principia is a game that allows you to build things. So, let's just jump right in, shall we? By the way, my username is on here is CTJet, so you can look me up. I'm on here. But this is a, a thing that I built. Wait for it. Chop. <laughs> so, first off, the people go into the roastingness of space. What's this? I don't know what that is. I want to know. I have no idea what that is. Okay. I haven't ever played this before, actually, so this is the first time I'm playing Principia on the computer. It's not finished, but it does can things, and it trumps off dummies' heads. So Principia is the game where you can build basically anything. Back to okay. Let's open. Let's see what I had. Okay, I had nothing. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the basic mechanics of app of uh, Principia. I almost said apparatus, which is not true. So this is your menu. You use this for menuized things. Now, if you go up to the top right, you'll see all of these categories. Now, this might freak you out because there's over 150, uh, not parts. Oh, it is parts, I guess. Over 150 parts. And it's crazy awesome. Not crazy, like, you know, tear your hair out, start a zombie apocalypse by biting people. Crazy. If you're a zombie, that works. You can also expand the menu so you can see more. I'm gonna retract it again. Uh, so, let's get started by building something simple. How about a car? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into mechanics. Now, here you'll see a wheel. So, click and drag to bring that out. Now, in this wheel, if you look down here, you can change the size of the wheel. You can change whether it's inside or outside, depending on how you want it to look. If you're making a car with four wheels, you'd make it like this for the back wheels and this for the front. You can change what layer the, the wheel is on. You can have three layers in total. If you want more info, please go into here and into the info, the I, and you can look at the information of the part. This works for mostly any part except for very new parts. So let's put this one as the back wheel. Now, here's another good thing. Oh, and settings, I'm sorry. You can change the I'm sorry, before I do that, you can change the properties of certain objects. So I can set the friction. Uh, I don't know what that property is. Oh, this is friction, and that's restitution. So restitution, I believe, is bounciness, and friction is how much friction it has with the ground. So we want this to have a lot of friction. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, let's make it a drag racer. Let's have low friction, so it kind of starts off slow and gives us a lot of smoke or something crazy. So let's save that. So now... If I drag in another part, you see it looks small until I let it go, and it duplicates this part exactly. If you look in here now, the properties are the same. It's one. This is because if you have a highlighted part, it'll duplicate it. Now if I bring in any other part while this is highlighted, it won't do anything. So let's bring in this and then resize it because I can, because I want that friction to be low. Let's bring this down here. Now I believe, oh, I, I can't remember how to do this. Uh, 
I forgot what it was to, uh, oh, it's shift. Okay, left shift while holding will make it snap to a grid. So let's snap these. There we go. So, there we go. Now that's even. So now we need a motor. So we go up into electronics. We see a simple motor. Let's put this out one layer and bring it over. Now hold shift to align it. So it's perfect. So if we click this hammer, it'll bind the parts together. So now they're apart. Let's play this level and just see what happens. Now you see if I change the restitution from 0.4 to 1, should be a lot more bouncy. Let's see. Let's test my hypo hypothesis. Yes. As you see, that is a lot more bouncy. Er, s things. But we don't want that. So save. So now we have a motor. We have to get a power supply or a battery. A battery outputs a standard 3 volts. No matter what, it'll always output that same amount. Now a power supply has 9 outputs. You can toggle whether or not it's outputting. And you can change the voltage down here depending on how fast you want your car to go. Now, there are two types of wires that I'm going to talk about right now. There's in total, I believe, th three wires. There's a power cable, there's a signal cable, and there's an interface cable. Now, interface cables are used for robotics, power cables are used for transferring power, and signal, uh, signal whatever they are, signal cables, are used for transferring data, either analog or binary numbers. So, if you have a power cable that connects these two together, we have to put this on the second level. I forgot about that, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Input, now you should see it starts spinning. So, what we're going to do is we're going to close this. And, or delete that, because I want to be able to change how fast this car can go. And let's make a chassis. So first off, I'm going to use a plank. Now this plank, I'm going to put to layer 2. I'm going to hook it there, and I'm going to connect it. Now let's put another plank. And here's where I'm going to get into rotation. This is the rotation. If you hold shift again, it'll snap it to a grid, which is very amazing. So let's put that there. And now there's two types of connections when you're going from one layer to another. First off, there's a rotation, or a joint connection, which is the ones with the arrows. That means it can freely rotate with zero friction. Now, a cross with, a, with the center cut out means it's a, a nail. It won't move at all. So let's put this as a joint, because we want the first wheel to move. So, now, let's put a cylinder, because we can, because I want to, to connect to these. So we're going to use these two connections, because it's one layer, it only goes one. So let's bring this up to layer two, and set it down. Now, it's going so fast that the torque actually makes it go flipping. So let's put that down, and you can see our car takes off. Now, what if we want to control our car? Well, first of all, we're going to go into robotics. Now, this is very complicated, but here's what I'm going to teach you. An RC micro is a tiny control panel with support for one output signal. So we're going to put this up to layer two, and we're going to hook it in. Now, how to use an RC micro is open up the settings. Now, this is a really weird thing, but I'm going to teach you how all of these work. So let's put an arrow here as an output. This will output to pin zero. I almost closed that principia. This will output to pin zero, which and this is the only pin. This is pin zero. So here's something you can do. With any cable, you can double click and drag. And that'll create the data wire you want. So if we go into our RC micro, you can see that we still have the thing. It stays configured. So now let's play our level. It's not moving anymore. Why is that? Well, by default, the motor is turned on, but if it has a signal cable, it won't. So now let's click the go button, and it'll go. Now it'll stop, because it doesn't have any data it's pushing against. Also, I forgot that I clicked the wrong one over here. That was my fault. So I guess it does turn freely. Hmm. 
That's weird. Why am I clicking the wrong one? Undo. Redo. Let's see if that works. The cables might be a little messed up. This. Oh yeah, there we go. The connection things. So now it's never gonna stop. It's just gonna hit that wall over at the end of the level, which we don't want. So I will get into that later. But now let's put the power up. Now of course when we turn this on. Holy crap, how does that work? Well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to change this out with the slider. So there's two types of sliders. There's the two wide, which is used for less control but more space, and there's the three wide. Oh, I can't have more than one because it's only output, so that's the three wide slider. This is a two wide slider. They're the same thing, except it's a little easier to control with a three wide. Plus, that's all we're going to be needing. You can also set the defaults for these sliders in there. Yeah, let's set it up top, just so we have more space. So, let's play the level. And you can see, that we now have a slider. I can adjust how fast we go. <laughs> Fun. So, now we can pull a wheelie, if, I, if I'm careful. I'm going to use my finger, because I have a touchscreen laptop. Oh, we stopped. Okay, let's restart. Woo! Okay, so... Here's something, if you're clicked into an RC, you will stay there, you will not be able to, the camera is relative to it, so it'll move, the camera will move with the object. If you're not clicked into an RC, it'll move without, or it won't move relative to it, so if it starts to move, we will, uh, it'll move by itself. So let's simulate this with a rocket because I like rockets and they are very fun. Or a thruster, those work too. Let's put this to the very low end of it for. Let's hook that into a snap. So now it'll start to move and you see we're not moving relative, we're not sliding along, it's just moving by itself. So, this is your first car. Doesn't have reverse doesn't do anything else, it just goes forward when you tell it to go. So let's change that. Let's make it break. So first of all, since we only have one output, we're going to need to delete this. The cable stays here so we can still use it. Now if we go into robotics, you will, er, yeah, robotics, you'll see that we have an RC basic. These have four outputs, and this one is the one where you want to go to if you want to see how this all works. So let's hook this in, okay, click it in, Put that back to output zero. But now you see we have output one or output zero, one, two, three. And it starts at zero, which is why it's not one, two, three, four. So let's put this slider back. Now let's get another motor. Electronics. Simple motor. Go up. We can get now go into mechanics. Or not mechanics, I'm sorry, it's basic. Rubber beam. Now this is exactly what you want, what you think. It's a rubber beam. We're going to put the restitution really low so it doesn't bounce. We're going to put the friction really high. So now let's hook this in at about that size, maybe a little more. Just in case. Yep, a little more. Or no, this should be good because we can move it. High beat life. So now it can't, it'll contact that, which will induce friction. So let's hook this up again to this. Ah, oh, crap, I can't do it. Again, output 1, or output, yeah, output 1, I'm sorry. And then hook this one up to output 1 again. So now, we're going to put a braking button over here. And again, you can change this to either clockwise or counterclockwise, so if we want the car to go backwards, we could set that to counterclockwise. But, here's how this works now. So automatically, it's going to brake slowly, but if we press the button, it'll lock the lock the wheel because we're inducing friction. So let's go and then brake. Now this does not have a very good braking speed. As you can see, that car has very low friction or that wheel has very low friction so it doesn't want to stop. Let's put this friction up again to about let's say five Save that, and we'll try it out again.
So as you can see, that goes a lot faster and we just executed a full loop. Because that has so much friction. So we have to accelerate slowly or else we'll flip. <laughs> now let's set, we don't want speed with this. We don't want it to spin really, really fast. Because otherwise it won't go. We want it to spin slowly, but with a lot of torque, which is how hard it's pushing down on an object. So you can see that's pushing down pretty hard for it to bounce off. So let's move and then break. So now you can see it breaks a lot faster because this wheel wants to stop. Now, let's get into splitters. It's exactly what it sounds like. So I'm just going to keep building here. You already know how all this works. Let's see, I want... No, I don't need any of this. Uh, a splitter is exactly what it sounds. It splits a signal. Now, this only works with the red cables, the data cables. Or inter not interface, whatever they're called, data. Uh, let's get our electronic simple motor. So a splitter cable splits a signal, so it goes to two output sources instead of one. If you wire a whole bunch of them, you can get a lot of outputs. This will not hinder the signal in any way, so that's very nice. It used to in uh, in apparatus. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this output and we're going to disconnect it. And if you uh, click this button down here, this will... Uh, disconnect wires, this one will disconnect be uh, other connections, like the beams. So let's put this into the Y-splitter. So now, if we drag, click, double click and drag, double click and drag, you see it's going. But we still need this power cable, so let's put that in. Oh, I forgot to change the properties of this one. So really high friction, really, really low restitution, zero bounciness. So it'll bounce on the nothingness. Wow, okay. So here's the problem we're encountering. It's trying to move with this, but since it has so much friction, it's wanting to uh, just stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a braking pad. Or uh, not a braking pad, whatever it's called. Don't judge me. I don't know the names. I don't know fanciness. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of rubber bands. So we're going to take a rubber band. We're going to take a rubber band. So basically you have reaction length and coefficient. We're going to put the reaction length all the way down to zero, which is how far it takes to react. So this will always react, and that one won't, because that's how the reaction length. Then we're going to set their coefficient pretty low, so it's not always up. So now let's put this up to layer two. Or actually, no, first we have to connect it. And this is going to be weird, it's kind of glitchy. But we're going to connect it, and then we're going to put it up to layer two, and we're going to connect it. So that's glitchy. I think. But yeah, you can see how it only goes down to a certain amount now. So we need to put that coefficient lower. Like down to 50. So that'll barely raise it off. Okay. We need that up more. Like to 2050. And as you can see, it's kind of contacting that part to keep it in line. But now we have to put this down because we do want speed. Otherwise, it won't work because it won't uh, go down fast enough for good braking. So let's put this next one. I'm going to glitch it out again. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. Reaction length. Actually, no. Let's move it down here so it kind of contacts this part. Uh, yep, that's good. And we'll move that to zero. Coefficient 2050 again. And the coefficient is how much it multiplies based on the distance. Uh, so, the more distance it has... Oh, that was weird. Yeah, see, this is the glitchiness of the game. But, who cares if we're exploiting those glitches for our own personal need? Now, let's put this one... This one will require a stopper. So, we'll just put something right here to stop it. Oh, this one disconnected. Because I hit that one. That, was, that sucks. Uh, let's see... Let's just disconnect... Put that down, down to one, two, three, one. Okay. There. Put this up. There. Now it works. That needs to go up. There we go. So now it 
should barely raise it. I think I need to put that up more. Because is it really low? Does that work? No? Do I need to put it up more? Like 40, 50? No? Is this too low? That could be it. That's too low. See, this is what is about the building game that is so fun. It's troubleshooting, because if you're having problems, you're going to need some troubleshooting. Now, as you can see, the brakes kind of go. So let's try this. See how that's not breaking anymore? Break. Hmm. It's interesting. It's weird. Let's put this up more and move this one. Just a little more. I know I'm weird. It's just what I like. So now it's completely off. It'll it'll spin forever. Oops. Let's try this again. I'm gonna use my finger. Alright, and then let's try breaking. No? You won't work? What is wrong with you? What if all oh, okay, this is weird. It's, oh, I know. Counterclockwise. Oops. Counterclockwise. That's what I always forget. So now it's counterclockwise, now it should work. Whoa, that's glitchy. <laughs> that's funny. Let's go. That fast, okay. You know what I need? If I'm gonna be doing rolls like this, I need a, re a wheel to roll onto. So let's use a cylinder. Just because I don't want that much friction on the wheel. And I don't want to have to change it. Because I'm like that. Also, you have recent things, so if I use that cylinder, I can just bring it out from there. Even if I'm not in that menu. Let's bring this out just a bit. There we go. And now let's put this all the way out. And there we go. So, let's try this. Now we can perform wheelies. <laughs> perform a wheelie right now and then stop. There we go. But I don't want to have to have it go that far. So we're going to go into level properties. I'm going to bring this into my recording zone. And we're going to go to gameplay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit... I can't remember what it was. It was... Board, or world. So if we go into world and we, cha we can change these values. So let's change this to 400. Or 4000 is even better. So now... Oh, that changed the background for some reason. We can go off into the sunset on our very fast car. That likes to do wheelies. Yeah, see, we're doing a really good wheelie. Okay, so now we've stopped. So we're going to maximum speed right now. Brake. We have pretty good braking. I don't know why it's doing that. I should probably put this friction up. Because it's at the very lowest, so it, to the very highest, just so we can go very fast, or break very fast. Hopefully this does not flip the car, because it could do that. So let's go up to fast speed, fastest speed we can. Bring it back down. Now, break. Oh, see, it did flip it. Oh, that's interesting. Let's change this one so it's up at the highest friction again. You know what, it could be the restitution that's also causing the bounciness. So I'm going to put that up to full again, as you can see. And let's play. Let's go up. Hmm, that's interesting. That's a weird thing. We should probably put this band's power up even more. What's this power level? It's over 9,000. I haven't even watched the show and I still make that reference, guys. I'm sorry. Yep, see? Now we can go faster. So now we've evened out, we're pulling a wheelie, here we go, we go back down. The wheelie happens when we are accelerating. So let's... Brake. This time, since we're using a combination of both brakes, evenly, we stop just as slowly. That back wheel is still spinning. Hi. That's kind of glitchy, because it's spinning so fast. But here it is, your basic car. Now if you want to decorate, you're going to use plastic. There's a plastic box, and a plastic beam. As you can see, these have colors. Now, these are basically wooden planks, except they have low friction, 
they have low restitution, which is bounciness again, and they have low, or in their plastic, not it. But anyway, the coolest thing about these is you can change the color. Now the other, now the thing on the, uh, what's it called, the thing about Android is that you only have these three. You don't get a change like the saturation, the value. Uh, you just get these, red, green, and blue. So let's let's select a color. Ooh, that's nice. That's pretty. Let's select a nice blue. Let's put the. Oh, that's hue. Okay, I haven't used this ever. Remember. So this is saturation. Let's bring this up so we get a nice blue. Let's make it a little more navy. And it has just a little bit of red. So we're gonna click OK. So now we have this nice blue beam. So we can decorate our car with this. We're just gonna stick it there because reasons. Now I'm gonna do one last thing, and it's the same thing for the plastic box. Now I'm gonna do one last thing because I'm I'm tired of clicking buttons. We're gonna click interaction and an RC activator. Now we're gonna click this RC. So now every time we enter the level, it automatically goes in there for us. So you don't have to, which is nice. What happens if we break while moving? <laughs> That's funny. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a very simple car. Uh, if you want me to, I will put out individual component tutorials, which will probably be like three to four minutes long each. So if you have a question about a specific part, there you go. Now those are probably going to be more advanced parts, not the simple ones, because once you get... These ones are very simple to understand. Uh, but they're probably going to be more like the signal ones, like NAND gates, uh, condensers, memory modules, if gates, etc. So I'm going to upload this video to YouTube, and I'm also going to upload the uh, level. So I'm going to show you how to do that really fast. Hopefully this doesn't show any credentials and I have to bleep, uh, bleep it out. Oh, by the way, here's a building tip. This down here, if you haven't selected anything, you can select what level it goes to by default. So you don't have to keep clicking level 1, level 2. As you can see, they're on different levels. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So let's go upload this. Level properties. Uh, info. So name. Oh, I should probably move this into the recording zone. Name. I'm going to call this YouTube to tutorials number one. Ba I, I need to capitalize because this is a title. Basic car with with brakes. And yes, car is capitalized because it is an important word. It's not like the or a. Uh. Okay, so description. Hey guys. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop typing now. You get the idea. And then you just click OK once you're logged in. If you've bought the game, OK is down there. So, please go buy this game, either Android or PC for now. iOS is coming out within the next month, I hope. Slash believe. Estac, if it's not, get to work. Estac is the creator of the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Please recommend this game slash whatever to your friends and family and other people that you really like. It's only either it's either ten dollars for the computer version, which is better, and I say it deserves it. I've bought both. Or it's two forty five for Android, which is mobile. So depending on where you're gonna be, what you use, uh I would recommend either of them. Or both. Uh yes. So Thank you guys for watching. This has been CT Jet signing off. And thank you, aviators, for subscribing. If you liked the video, please like it, subscribe, recommend me. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys, and see ya.